If you've got a Paragon kiln with a uh, Century 2 computer or as this one is a Century 3 or you've got an auto fire, there is a function on the, the, the keypad that will allow you to enter information which will then tell you after the firing how much that firing cost. So to set it up you have to tell the computer how much your kilowatt hours cost you so you'll have to find out what your current cost is and you will also need to know what the kilowatt rating of your kiln is. Now that information on the Paragon kiln you'll find on the side on the side panel there will be a sticker or a plate which will tell you how many kilowatts that kiln uses. If you look at the, the keypad, you'll see on number eight here, you've got firing cost. That's where you are told how much the previous firing cost. But if you, if you haven't set the kiln, if you haven't set that information into the computer, your kilowatt hour cost and the number of um, kilowatts that your kiln uses when it's firing, the computer when you press firing cost will just tell you zero. So we need to set that up before uh, we get that information out. So to do that, we need to go into options and run through the option settings until we get to cent, which is American, so cents, money, pence. So when you see cent, press enter. And this is where you enter in how much is your kilowatt hours costing you in pence from your current supplier. So that's pounds and pence. Hopefully you're not paying pounds just yet. So you'd enter the, the number in pence. If we put in there, uh, let's say, uh, let's say 30, 30 P, 30 pence press enter, that's now set. If I go through the options again, press the options one more time, we get KW, kilowatts. Now if we press enter, I've currently set this already. This is a Studio One kiln and it is running on 6.9 kilowatts. If you look on the side of the kiln, you'll see the plate will tell you, yep, watts 6900 so you'll see there's a there's a decimal point there and let me enter it again six nine and i want that to be over the decimal point so i'll put in a zero so we've got 6.9 because it's asking us for how many kilowatts so that's 6.9 kilowatts 6.9 so that's if i press enter that's now in the kiln's brain so if I press stop, I'm back to idle. And you can go back into options if you want to check, just to be sure. Go into sent, press enter. And yes, it's set to 30, which is right. Press enter. Uh, if we press options again, and we can just check the kilowatts. Press enter, 6.9, bingo, that's what we need. Press enter, and then press stop and I'm back to idle. Now I've already done a test firing in this kiln this morning so it's a bit warm, it's 45 degrees in there. But if I just do, if I just set a, uh, a ramp firing up to 100 degrees, so if I go into number four, press um, number four, we go into user one, I set the rate to full. Now this is just a test firing so you can ignore all this, I'm just doing a test firing just so you can see. So I'm asking the kiln to go up to 100 degrees and stay there for one minute and that's the end of the firing and I want it to start now. So the kiln, when the lid is closed, the kiln will start firing. And we'll let that go up to 100 degrees and then afterwards we'll press firing cost and it should tell us how much at the kilowatt our price that I've entered, how much that's cost to fire.
Okay, so that, uh, that firing is now complete. You can see uh, CPLT. The reason that we've gone up to 120, 117 degrees is um, we've asked the kiln to run up to 100 degrees and stop. Now 100 degrees for a kiln is nothing. So the problem you have when you're trying to fire quickly to a low temperature is it's like putting a, uh, a big truck, a big lorry, speeding with a big lorry. And when you get to a certain destination, stop. It's very difficult for that to happen, so it, it will blast past. The, the power stops going to the elements, but the temperature will just cruise past a little bit. So that's fine, don't worry about that. So uh, we've got a complete reading there. That firing is now done, albeit slightly pointless firing. But now it will allow us to press number eight. And we get back to idle. Press eight again. Cost, 10. So that's telling me that that firing, that little test firing has just cost me 10p. Now that information um, that we entered in, the, th the, the, the kilowatt hour price and the kilowatt price uh, sorry, the kilowatt rating for the kiln, that's in the computer's brain now. So any future firings that I do, I can, after the firing, press number eight, firing cost, and it will tell me how much that firing cost. I hope you find that useful.